What was the most f ked up reason someone broke up with you for? I didn't have a college degree. I was in college working on my degree at that time. We were engaged. I caught him cheating on me. Why? His mommy set them up cause I'm not Italian. He had no backbone. I kicked him and his mother to the curb. Were they living with you? That's my question. His best friend tried to rape me and claimed I came on to him. He believed his friend. I was 17. The friend was 27. Jesus F Christ can men suck some serious A. They really can be the worst the ex has changed a lot since then. Though. So that's great. I can't slash don't want to deal with your grief. I had just lost a parent. F me. That's cold. Probably the loneliest time of my life. I was devastated all over again. It must have been hard. But at least you didn't end up with that a hole. Hey. Now that's a wonderful point. I got raped, which made me a cheating whore. I'm so sorry, I hope he rots, along with the rapist. 3. This. Make it the really rank long term rot, where the hospital has to bring in maggots. That I was too nice, and not a challenge. Roger that. Same thing happened to me once. I wasn't combative enough, so he wasn't intellectually challenged. Like TF. I'm not going to be aggressive for no reason. Thankfully I'm now with someone who loves my generally peaceful and joyful state. Sounds more like you were the one who wasn't intellectually challenged in that relationship glad you're with someone better now. Lol right. And yes. So thankful. I wanted to talk about where the relationship was going. He thought I wanted to break up with him. So he broke up with me via text because I don't handle rejection well. No shit. You handle it so poorly that you basically ended up rejecting yourself. He's still single. Insecurities. I had ambition. Goals for myself. Wanted to go places. He was also 8 years older and wanted to control me. Funny enough. He was the one to break up with me and looking back I'm glad he did. I had a college boyfriend who was encouraging and helpful when he was helping me study math. Because he was at a slightly higher math level. I quit working to have more time for school, studied very hard outside of school, and retook the math placement exam, which put me above his math level, when I told him, and offered to help him in math, if he ever needed it, he suddenly got very distant, we broke up very soon after, we still talked some after the breakup, and still got along, the only thing I can figure, is he didn't like the idea of a girlfriend being better than him at something, or not needing his help. Always boggled my mind with, so friends who have left girlfriends for similar reasons, whether or not they admit it's the reason. Like if my girlfriend is better than me aren't I winning? I'm too young to be in a relationship. I should be traveling the world instead of settling down. He was 24. Two weeks later he was signing a 30 year mortgage, and dating his new coworker. My very first boyfriend left me, because he said he was going off to college and going to meet other, better women. He was a senior, and I was a freshman. To this day he is still single, and has tried to hit me up twice. I ignored him both times. He thought he was all that, but turns out he isn't. Seems like he did you favor though. The trash took itself out. This made me cackle like a mf. My parents will never accept you, after dating for almost 3 years. Different cultures and religions. But I'm sorry you didn't notice the color of my skin 3 years ago. It should be you don't have the guts to stand up for us. I'm in therapy and he will never be serious about someone with mental health issues. My ex broke up with me when he found out I'd been to therapy before. He blamed it on other reasons, but he only started acting weird when he found that out and broke up with me a few hours later. Came crawling back though, it surprised me, because my anxiety really wasn't a secret. We'd been together for a year, so it wasn't a surprise. I think it was finding out it was an actual diagnosed disorder that scared him. I'd avoided talking about it for a while. He used to complain about having to help his mum with her anxiety. Think he just didn't like the idea of me having it too. He said I was an embarrassment to him. He ended up dating my best friend at the time. Surprisingly I wasn't sad just disappointed. What a shitty best friend. Are they still together? Now they broke up. 
He told me she was crazy. Didn't real care to keep them in my life after that. They deserve each other. Massive bullet dodged Opus. He said it was me, or his car, because we were both expensive. I hope he and his car are very happy. I was 19. My high school BF didn't call me for 3 days, because he was playing a video game. His excuse. Can't believe how much I cried over that guy he's married, and he texts me now usually at night. My husband and I just disapprovingly shake our head like Indian aunties. I started wearing thongs. He thought it was inappropriate lol. As in the underwear or the shoes, either way. What an idiot. The underwear in his mind there was some big jump of your wearing thongs. You're going to cheat. I had a buddy back in the day with that line of thinking. He didn't like thongs, because he thought they signaled to guys that the wearer was DTF. He also thought that women who liked any sex beyond the vanilla variety were too promiscuous and would cheat on him eventually. Found out his high school ex cheated on him. So there was some massive projection and hang ups going on. Anyway, I'm sorry you had to deal with that. And I hope you're much better off these days. His dream was bigger than mine. He got a job as a bartender in Vegas. And he didn't think he could stay faithful while working in a place like that. At least he was honest and ended it. No wasting your time and pretending he wanted the relationship while secretly cheating. Well, I also made the mistake of checking his phone as I had a feeling he was hiding something. I then found sexual text messages back and forth between him and a female colleague. He denied it saying it was jokes. Then broke up with me because I'm too insecure. Which, fine I admit I shouldn't have checked his phone, but I caught him in a cheating lie. So he broke up with me, after I found out. I hate when people say you're insecure, when you only become insecure, because of the things they do. You wouldn't have been insecure, if they hadn't been me nor shady. Mental health declined due to grieving the loss of my twin. What an asshole. I have a twin and I couldn't even imagine going through this. So sorry for your loss. It's been a traumatic journey. However I've found my support circle elsewhere including kind redditors, like yourself. Dropping the odd comment and message here and there, all helps. Thank you. You look like a child and I don't want people thinking I'm a pedo when we are out in public that hurt Suhuahu badly, because I really did love him. I can't help that I'm crazy short and flat just dead. Most Asian women are, backslash backslash. Because he was worried about it not working out. Figure that one out. So he was turning a possibility or even a probability into something definite? That would be correct. In all seriousness. Was he anxious? Overthinking? Because this could also be a case of self-sabotaging. He was anxious and unfortunately there was nothing I or his therapist could say to get him out of the loop. Because my hair was too curly slash crunchy lol. What? I decayed was the days of styling your hair with Garnier Fruitix curl stuff and he didn't like how crunchy my hair was from it. That's awful. Lol. He would rather ref backslash backslash CK around with a married woman, than have a committed relationship. For context we are both black. He told me he wanted to date women of other races. Um fail I was baffled. He'd been being very disrespectful before that. But that was the first time he blatantly said he didn't want to be with me. I guess he wanted me to do the heavy lifting of the breakup so of course I did. I was done. Of course he came begging for me back. But I was through. We'd been on and off for about 5 years since high school. And I was tired. Good riddance. Better guys are out there. I wore a hat on our date night. He didn't like it. I refused to take it off. He broke up with me. That's hilarious I'm sorry. It is. Didn't find it funny then, but that was 20 years ago. After 2 years of being together, he wanted to give it a shot with a friend of ours. Said she was a gift from God and he couldn't turn the opportunity down. After 2 weeks of trying to, unsuccessfully, caught her and texting me, like I was his bestie about all the stuff he loved about her. He gave up, and called me to say he wants me back. No apology. No emotion. Nothing. Just expected me to waltz back into his arms. Lmao. I'm still confused about it 6 years later. The disrespect is unbelievable. I had an ex who was constantly breaking up with me and coming back crying and I 
a fool in fool's shoes, kept letting him back. Reasons usually were that I never wanted to do anything, while simultaneously rejecting any ideas I had about going out to do something. I eventually got fed up thank god, and left him for good. A fool in fool's shoes, that took me out, yo same. Oh that I was too good for them, and they were poison for me, blah blah blah. Anyway went to the house, to get some stuff and maybe try and talk him out of it, lame I know, but there was another girl in his room so yeah. In the end he was right though. Backslash view 200d I'm happily married for 8 years now. I need a partner in crime, to go see bands and concerts with, who loves music like me. I was in the middle of a bachelor of music degree. I did nothing but go see bands, all the time. Since the breakup I have finished said degree, played in several bands, become a songwriter, performed in my city's best of city performance, I'm a public school music teacher, I teach music privately on the side, I have a third side job performing in a corporate drum line for major league sports teams, I have also seen about 120 concerts in my millennial life, and traveled all around the world, to go see different concerts. I still have no idea what he was on about. Did you have the same taste in music? Silly. But in 7th grade, I was dumped because I had chicken pox. He seriously thought it was like terminal or something. 